Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jakey Tag, and today we're back again with a new Minor Poison Wall Breaker cycle that is so strong on ladder. You have incredible defensive capabilities with the Royal Delivery, Bomb Tower, and the Knight, so your opponent can never break through you. And you'll win every single bridge battle with one of the best cards in the game, the Musketeer. Seriously, I think that Musketeer and Bats are some of the strongest cards in the game because if your opponent doesn't have an answer to them, the range of the Musketeer just destroys everything. And then the Bats, obviously for two Elixir, if your opponent can't shoot up, it is the best counter to any bridge spam. After you defend, all you have to do is drop a Miner in front of your counter pushing units, poison your opponent's tower and whatever units they have nearby, and then you slowly but surely whittle them down until they have no tower left in sight. And a huge shout out to all of you guys that are using Creator Code Sir Tag in any Supercell game. All money made from Creator Code Sir Tag goes directly back into improving the channel's setup, editing, and it allows me to upload daily videos while I take full-time college courses. So thank you guys for supporting me and helping me grow the channel. All right, we got a game here. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna sauce out a good luck and we're gonna go head over heels with our wall breakers. What are you gonna have, my man? You've got Ice Wizard. Ooh, is it gonna be Expo Tornado or is it gonna be Graveyard? Regardless, we still get the damage on the tower. I really wanna beat out a Knight. Okay, it's gonna be Graveyard. So it's gonna be Graveyard Control. So if you've got Knight in Cycle and there's a possibility of that, I'm never really gonna be dropping my Miner in the back. In fact, I wanna go for Knight at the River. Maybe we can beat out your Knight now. Oh, let's go. So the good thing about this is the Knight's gonna be out of Cycle when we get a free Miner on the tower whenever we want. The unfortunate thing is I do have to defend against an impending graveyard most likely. So I'm going to go and drop our bomb tower. We're going to make sure that we shut that down. The baby dragon goes directly towards the bomb tower. If you guys didn't know, now you know. That bomb tower placement is the best. We should be able to shut down the knight as well with a really high musketeer. And then I think he's going to barb barrel this. So I'm going to go in for a miner in the safe spot because he's not back to knight. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. When your opponent doesn't have the knight in cycle, you abuse it. You go in for the miner in the safe spot. You kill their ice wizard. And what are they left with? Absolutely nothing. So this is great. Remember, he has no barb barrel. So what does he have? He's got bomb tower. Bomb tower is tear. Oh, usually they have bomb tower, but he's got barb butt. I don't understand. Things were going so great. What? So barb butt is a really ineffective way when you're barely getting back to seven elixir in time. So... In single elixir, I can go for some really aggressive graveyard counters with bats and then go for a ton of poisons on his tower to whittle him away as well. I just want him to drop something in the back that I can poison though, so I'm just waiting for that. We can also win every single bridge battle because we got musketeers, so that's a vibe for sure. I'm not going to poison that because it's not something that's worth it for me. We go for musketeer here though, and if you try to go for the bridge battle, we will go in for the royal delivery service. Dude, what are you doing? So yeah, we're going to go for the Royal Delivery right on top of that Baby Dragon. Plow that thing down. And I think we got to go for Wall Breakers and left just to force out Elixir. If he goes in for a Knight and he goes in for a Graveyard, he just went in for a Graveyard. So that means I can go in for Poison. Both Wall Breakers connect. We might even start switching it up and going opposite lane. Because it's hard to go same lane as your opponent when they know that you're going to be going and doing exactly what you're doing every single time. So I need to switch it up. That's why I decided to do that. Wait, he went for a... What? Uh, sir, <laughs> you can't do that. You went for Tornado. You thought that I was going to go all in on the right, but now you use Bar Barrel, and you have no counter to the Minor Wall Breakers, baby! Unless you activate King Tower with that with Tornado, but we completely outplayed you. We bamboozled you, sir. You've been bamboozled! So, yet again, he's going to go in for another Graveyard. We just shut it down with the Wall Breakers on the left whenever we get back to it. Come on, I don't have Wall Breakers. I was so optimistic. But yeah, Bomb Tower and Poison, reliable defensive sequence. And then you guys already know, if he defends with the knight or a baby dragon against whatever we drop, then he doesn't get counter pushed with it. So that's kind of the big game plan for us. We're consistently trying to make sure that it's counter pushed in the lane that he doesn't want a graveyard with. So if it was in the other lane, we would be having some issues here. I'm going to go for a poison because he overcommitted. And I know that he's going to probably go in for a graveyard. We're just going to go and shut it down with the musketeer. He can't go in for a graveyard here. He has to go on the left-hand side. And if he goes all in on the left-hand side, we've got bomb tower. So... Either way, it's great for us. We just shut everything down. We know that his bar putt is out of cycle, so then we can go in for another miner here, and then we go for wall breakers. We go for bats as well, and we're having a heck of a time, man. So the wall breakers are probably going to connect, and then we win the game off that. If not, then the baby dragon locks onto the knight, and you know what? All we got to do is cycle back to a poison, and we win the game. The show is stopped, and you know what? Actually, the show is not stopped. The rodeo must go on. We must go on to the next game and continue to assert dominance throughout the day and the show must go on. GG, well played and peace out. Graveyard is not easy, so hopefully we don't get too many of those today. 
But if you go opposite lane, you can spread your opponent very thin and then you can switch it up and not go in the same lane all the time because you keep giving them counter push. All right, we got a game here. We're gonna see what's up and we're sus out a good luck. This guy, you know what? He's gonna have to deal with the wall breakers. He's giving us good luck. I feel like you probably don't wanna do that when I've got this deck, my dude. I can go for a Musketeer to accommodate both sides. And if you have Goblin Gang, I am ready. My body is prepared for Goblin Barrels. I dare you. I'm geared up and ready to unleash the Royal Delivery. So if he's not going to do anything, I guess I can just go in for a Knight in the back and slow roll. He's going to have Zap, Minor, Goblin Gang. So I think it's going to be maybe a Giant deck. Oh, wait. You got three Musketeers. No way. This is phenomenal for me. We can keep them inside the Poison Extended Stay with the Knight. So they're all going to be vanquished. Goodbye, muskies. It was nice knowing you. If you go all in on the other side, I've got Royal Delivery. I've also got Bats Minor. So we're going to go for our Bats right on top of that muskie. And then we can get counter push with, I think, two of them surviving. Yeah, two of them. Hey. So you're going to go for an Ice Golem and you're going to have Goblin Gang on top of the Miner maybe? Or you just save your Elixir and then you go for Collector like that. Okay. So that's smart on his end. I think we still got to go for the Wall Breakers. I didn't want them to pop right inside the Ice Golem. I didn't know if that was going to happen. He went for a Goblin Gang anyway, so he would have shut it down. Didn't really matter what side we dropped it on. And I think we got to go for a Poison here, guys. Every single time he goes in for a Collector, we can't let him get an insurmountable Elixir advantage. So we're going to shut that down right here, right now. And oh my goodness, he doesn't know. And what he doesn't know will hurt him. It's going to hurt a little bit. We're going for the delivery. So I'm looking at this game. I realize that he's going to have a minor probably with this or battle ram he's got to have a win condition with the three musketeers yeah there's the battle ram so i'm gonna go for bats here with the musketeer we should be able to shut that down he's gonna go for the miner as well he's going all in he's going balls to the walls but guys he's not able to even kill the musketeer with that zap it was an arduous battle sir it was a difficult task and you were not able to prevail so i don't think he has any way of killing the wall breakers if the knight's tanking oh never mind the wall breakers were not getting tanked for that's so sad, but I guess the Musketeer is going to just make me happy. Let's go. The Musketeer heard it. She's like, Jake, you're sad. I'll give you a present. How about just like half your opponent's tower? It's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. You know what? We'll accept that with open arms. We'll go for a poison on top of your collector, and then we'll go for a Musketeer in the back. Unfortunately, I really wish my Musketeer was in the lane of the one Musketeer, because it just gets bulldozed by the lane of the two. So a little bit better to have that interaction go our way. Unfortunately, it didn't. But we'll see what we can make happen now. I might just go in for Royal Delivery and just sack that. Oh, wait. I can just straight up Poison, and that's better. Because the Poison's going to kill the Minion Horde. I'll take damage from the Miner and the Muskie. Oh, wait. He doesn't even Miner on the left-hand side. I thought he was going to get a Miner on my tower. I was like, wait, why would he do that? It's like, I'll take damage from that Miner. But uh, he wasn't about it. Never mind. So Muskie's going to die on the left. Well, that's fine. I can just go in for a Miner in the back on the right. Gear up for a really quality defense. And after I defend this, I'll win the game. So one of the things that I really enjoy doing is going in for bats on top of the two musketeers when one of them locks on. If you guys didn't know that interaction, you mitigate all but like a couple hits. It's a really nice elixir trade too. Two for two musketeers. We take those. I can go for a poison right on top of the skill horde. I need to just cycle vigorously back to one more musketeer and one more miner. And I think we win the game, guys. So I'm just going to keep spamming with this musky so he can't go for three musketeers. He might want to, but he'll just lose the tower. The musky's going to lock on. What are you doing? I told you you couldn't do that. And you're like, Jake, I have to do it anyway. I have to sacrifice it for the greater good. <laughs> and you know what? Thank you for the trophies, man. I appreciate the sacrifice. It went to a noble cause. All right, guys. We got a game here. We're going to see what's up. Definitely want to go for bats to kick it open. And this man, he's not psychoing anything. Wait, my long lost brother. My long lost bat brother out here with his bats and his mini P.E.K.K.A. So when I see bats and mini P.E.K.K.A., okay, I was going to say either Giant Graveyard or some really weird deck with Hog Rider that I haven't seen in forever. So he's not going to have the Hog Rider variation. We're going to be able to shut down the mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Giant. I think he's got Giant Graveyard, actually. That's what I'm going to bank on right now. He could have Sparky, but most Sparky decks have minions right now because you have Heal Spirit and you heal him up. So that's what I'm thinking. He could go for a Skarmy. Yep. Pretty obvious plays. But I'm going to go for bats instead of going for the Royal Delivery because the bats counter push with the Miner and it gives me a much better and bigger interaction. So, yeah, that's good. We're going to be able to get a lot of chip damage on the tower. We see Snowball. So I'm safely assuming that this man is going to have a giant graveyard deck. The way that I want to play this is I want a Muskie on Muskie, have us fight on our side of the map so we have our tower helping. And then we can probably get away with Wall Breakers here. So we'll see if he's going to drop arrows or not. Usually they do that, so... Oh, he's just going to giant graveyard me opposite lane. Don't care. Oh my goodness. Dude, you're so aggressive. Why are you like this? 
So we need to bats immediately when he doesn't have the snowball in cycle. And then we can shut everything down with the Royal Delivery. So remember, he snowballed really early on. So I knew that I could get away with bats. And that's why we decided to do that. So despite this man going all in and us getting so much damage, he got more than me. How does that happen? Giant Graveyard is just one of those decks that your opponent just ignores everything and they go all in. And somehow it always works out for them. Anyway, I'm going to go for a Miner. We know that he could Scar me, but I can't go in for a Poison or anything on it. Oh my gosh, he Mini Packed. Okay. So Mini Packed will die to the Knight. And then he's going to Scar me afterward. So, oh wait. You're just going to go and sacrifice Bats. That's even better. You're going to Scar me now. And go for Prediction Poison. And I think that the Wallbreaker's connected to the Tower. We have to make really ballsy plays like that if we have any hope of winning. Risky. Very risky. And he went for a Snowball. So now what we can do is we can go for Miner and Bats. We know he's probably going to arrow it. And then we can cycle back to another poison. So then when he goes in for a graveyard, we're going to be able to shut it down. So you guys see how we're defending everything with units? And then they're going to counter push and force out more stuff from our opponent. Another thing that I really like doing is if I can go and pull back the mini pack and force out more elixir, that would be ideal. Because the bomb tower is just going to consistently give us value here. He's going to go in for a graveyard. I know that I need to get a poison down. But guys, the mini pack gave him absolutely no value on the other side. And I think we played this game absolutely perfectly as well. Assuming his Musketeer dies, that's why we need to go for the Knight first and foremost. Then we can go in for a Miner, see if he shuts it down. He goes in for Skarmy and Mini Packet, so he's dropping everything. This guy is scared right now. He is shook, my dudes. I'm not scared. So he's going to be shaking his head after this one. I'm going to go in for the Royal Delivery. I'm going to try to get away with Bats and Miner one more time. Okay, I just need to go in for a Bomb Tower here, go in for a Graveyard, counter with the Poison. And if we get the Poison down in time, I think that he's not going to be able to break through. So that is clean. Yes, he's going to scar me. So he needs to predict where we're dropping this miner. I don't think that's really possible, my dude. I don't think that you're going to be able to do that. He did it. There's no... He got it! He actually did. No way, man. I think the mini pack is going to be able to shut down the wall breaker. No, the wall breaker got it! All I got to do is go for the poison. We walk with the W. Oh my goodness. Giant Graveyard. You have such a fat matchup advantage. That is a tough one, and I'm very glad we won that game. I had to make so many predictions along the way, stellar defenses, and making sure that he overcommits into us to win that. So this is one of the harder matchups. Very rarely do we get tough ones, but this is one of the few. So we got a game here. We're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's happening. And this guy, when I said I want to see what's up, he throws down a golem. That is not what we wanted to see, my dude. And that's what's up. So I don't have my bomb tower. I'm just going to go and cycle Musketeer in the same lane, and I can go rush opposite lane with a knight. I still don't have bomb tower, so I'm going to go in for bats here as well. Oh my goodness. Where is my bomb tower when we need it, guys? Oh my goodness. That was unbelievable. Just like the unbelievable amount of damage that we just got on his tower. So I definitely want to go in for a knight here. And then I think we can get away with a poison on defense. If we get any hits on top of that, we know that the night witch will fall inside the poison and we'll be fine. We just need to make sure that the night witch dies in the poison, guys. We have simple needs in life. So yeah, we're in a good spot. We're walking forward with a thousand damage lead, and this guy is absolutely out of his mind and hopefully out of the game right now at a thousand damage deficit. So, all right, we realize that you are very aggressive when we don't have good card cycles, so please don't drop a golem at the river. Please do not drop a golem at the river right now. Say please, Harold. Please, of course. I am just wishing and praying and hoping that you don't do that to me. So I'm going to go for Royal Delivery right on top of the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Shut that down. And then we can maybe go in for Wall Breakers and Miner. Just to force out more than just a Bar Barrel. Because if we bait out a Night Witch and that doesn't go behind the Golem, that would be amazing for me. I think he's just going to eat it. Oh, he missed the Royal Delivery timing! It's really hard to hit everything at once. So I don't blame him. But that is great for me. So now we're up 2,000 damage instead of a solid 1,000. Go for the Bomb Tower and the furthest possible tile to go and pull the Golem. Then we're dropping our Musketeer off to the side. Because we knew that the Lightning was a distinct possibility. And we're not going to mess around with that. We're going to drop our Knight. And just forcing out as much Elixir from our opponent as possible to try to break through is always a good situation. Because now he has to defend against the Knight and the Musketeer counter pushing. He wants to go for a Fisherman. I think we can go for a Miner and Bats here. Maybe even kill that, guys. That would be hilarious. Because the Miner is tanking for the Tower. And then, oh, that would have been great. Anyway... He doesn't have a great answer to the knight right now, right? Oh my gosh, that tower is going to go night night, my dude. We can go for a bomb tower here. We can cycle back to another vicious wall breakers. And I want to go and cycle knight here. We know he's going to go in for a really early lightning. So I just want to cycle my bomb tower first so I can get back to it. That was the game plan at least. So if he doesn't, I'd be shocked. I'd be absolutely floored. So we're going to get back to another bomb tower. As you guys can see, we saw the lightning. It was not very scary. We shut it all down. He's going to go for arrows and then we get free bats. 
free real estate on your fisherman, my dude. Oh my gosh, he's gonna go for rail delivery for sure right now. He has to on top of the wall breakers, but then he has nothing for the miner. Oh my goodness, we can go for a poison. We just need to cycle one more poison. We walk away with a W. So guys, we are gonna be a savage. We're gonna be a certified savage right now with a knight. We're gonna go for bats. We're gonna vigorously cycle a rail delivery on top of that fisherman. Make sure that that thing does not walk onto our tower and we walk away with the W. So GG, well played and peace out, Girl Scout. It was a pleasure playing against you and asserting dominance. As you guys see against Golem, cycle an early bomb tower, get back to it in double elixir, and they can never break through. But man, was that scary at the start. When he went in for a Golem, I just didn't see my bomb tower. I felt like I was left alone and no one was going to help me. I was that princess that no one wanted to rescue from the tower. So we got a game against Steve. We're going to sauce out a good luck and we're going to see what's up. Definitely want to go for our wall breakers. Make sure that he has to drop elixir on both sides. Oh my gosh, bats. Skeletons and a log. None of that gives you any counter push, my dude. And that's a lot of elixir. So we can go for a bomb tower right on top of the royal giant and drop a knight. So the bomb of the death damage of the bomb tower will be able to get a lot of value on the RG. I don't think it gets a single hit as a result, guys. So we are in a great spot. I got one hit. It's fine. So rail delivery was cycled. We could go for wall breakers here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Because rail delivery is out of cycle. I don't think he's going to have a phenomenal answer to those wall breakers. He's going to have to fireball them. <laughs> you love to see it, guys. That is such an overextension for my dude Steve here. So I'm going to go in for Miner and Bats yet again. We'll see what he does. Usually you have to spend way more Elixir on Miner and Bats. And yes, that's exactly what happened. He went in for a Hunter and Bats. So that's a negative one interaction for him on defense. And you never want to do negative interactions on defense, guys. Only positive Elixir trades there. I'm a person who oozes positivity. On offense, you can get a little bit more frisky and do negative trades because you're going to get tower damage from your interactions. But you don't get anything on defense, so it's bad for him. Oh, the musky locked onto the tower too. No way. This is going phenomenally for us. So yet again, guys, we know that bats are next in cycle. We knew that our miner was right after. So what do I do? I cycle my wall breakers really far back so then the royal delivery doesn't get as much damage. And then we can get back to whatever we want. I can go for a poison on top of the hunter, force out a log, still get a connection, and damage down the fisherman too. Wow, this is stellar stuff, my dudes. I can go for a rail delivery, make sure that the fisherman does not get a lock at all. Thought he was gonna drop something with it. I thought he might have heal spirit, guys. I was so scared. I was like, is he gonna drop a heal spirit here? Seems like the type of person to do it. We can go for wall breakers and bait out another rail delivery service. Every single time they do that, it's gonna be a negative interaction, and I love seeing it. Predictable. Predictable. So yeah, there it is. Now he's out of sight, out of mind, and he has nothing for the bats. So we're gonna be able to go in for a bomb tower here, bats on defense. Shut down whatever he wants to do with the RG because he can't finish off the bats because he just went for the Royal Delivery. We can go for a Miner as well with the bats. Apply opposite lane aggression in both sides. Force out a ton of Elixir. Yeah, so we get Skeletons. We get the Hunter to go on top of the bats instead. And then maybe... Oh, that was so close, man. I was looking at that. I was ready. My body was prepared, but unfortunately it didn't work out for us. We definitely want to go for another Delivery to finish off the bats. Kill the Royal Giant before it gets a hit. And, all right, so he's got Hunter in Cycle, so he could just destroy our Wall Breakers at any point. But he has no good answer to the Miner, so I'm just going to go for Miner Bats instead of Wall Breakers here. And then I can Knight on the Fisherman. Yeah, so every single time he does that, it's awkward. So he's just like, I'm going to go all in instead. And when you go all in, when I still have a Knight alive, I feel like that's a really bad trade. I, I can't help but think that that is not the interaction that you want to see, my dude. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Isn't that a little desperate? I'm gonna go for Wallbreaker's Miner here because we don't have our bats immediately in cycle and we still want to apply aggression. We'll see if he has enough elixir for the hunter. He goes in for a rail delivery. Negative interaction yet again. We clean this all up with bats, by the way, because he's got no anti-air counter at all. And he's gonna rail try it into it. Why would you go into bats? Does he have a fetish of just getting destroyed and annihilated by bats? Having them just like feast upon his soul, his heart, and his cards all getting devoured in the seconds? I don't know, man, but that's that's what it seems like to me. So yeah, he's gonna go for a log and we're able to go for poison. So one more poison, we walk away with a W. He doesn't have log back in cycle, so we can go in for wall breakers, bait out another royal delivery, force out cards that aren't gonna apply a lot of aggression for him. And then when you don't have royal delivery, well, the bats are gonna be painful. <laughs> Barry the bat is coming up strong and we assert dominance with the poison. So poison does enough damage. It does 3010 and, or 310. I don't know why I said 3010. That'd be 3010. But you know what? We're doing 310 damage. We're going to walk with the W. GG. Well played. Peace out. I can't contain my excitement when we have bats and our opponent doesn't have an answer to them because they'll never be able to break through and you perpetually sauce out minor poisons that they'll never be able to deal with. The damage just keeps racking up and they keep throwing cards into your bats and feeding you more and more.